Hello everyone and welcome to VRML Channel 2. We do have an exciting OCE game here today in the Silver Division and we actually have two Silver teams going ahead. Um, we have Telos on the orange side and we have Invictus on the blue side. Um, I am Kit Catastrophe, I will be your caster today and in the casting booth with me is Doc Education. Hey Kit, uh, super happy to be here. Um, always excited to cast an OCE match. Um, I, I really do enjoy it. This is by far the latest match that I have ever casted. Uh, it's about 1 a.m. for me here on the West Coast, uh, but I'm still up after a, um, a ride of a game that I had in my own match. Um, we lost the first round, but came back with the reverse sweep and pulled it off. Uh, so I've got a, I had a little bit of extra energy and uh, decided to hop on this match with you. So super excited about that um just checking in on where these teams are standing it looks like invictus is currently at seventh place um and um uh the talos is at 12th place uh so kind of the top of uh silver tier and the bottom of silver tier and uh, you know Tal uh, invictus especially uh looking I i've casted them twice a little bit earlier in the se in the season and um, you know, as we're getting closer to the finals, no one really knows yet what uh, the format's going to be in the OCE side. So Invictus definitely want a win or two. They 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 need to be uh, up, you know, moving up if they want to have a chance to be in those in those finals. Yeah, it's definitely going to be an interesting one. Um... I'm super excited to see these teams go head to head. Talos have been doing an absolute job fighting to stay in it and definitely not able to that they, they oh, stumbling on words here they definitely are able to get back in the top yeah and they definitely have the capabilities to do so they've just had an unfortunate run and let's hope that they can come back from this so this is definitely going to be a close game with some of the top teams in OCE even though they are silver we do have a wacky way of doing stuff and it looks like we are going to get started here Awesome. Yeah, the teams have readied up and we got 10 seconds until the tubes open up and uh, these teams come out. Which team is going to hit that joust first? We will be uh, super excited to see and the teams are out and they are going for it. And it looks like it will be the... Mm, I don't know actually who has the disc right Invictus. now. Invictus. Invictus is the blue team and Talus uh, grabbing the disc and they're going to clear it through back to the Invictus side. The disc is loose in that upper trap area. It looks like Invictus are going to get their hands on it first, going to clear it down that tunnel. It looks like that Talos have a backline player there, able to pick it up and look for options to get it out. It looks like they are going to pass it across the field there, and it will be Talos keeping possession here. Some nice passes, but a headbutt intercept there, and it is picked up by Cabbage Wrecker. Cabbage Trekker with a beautiful pass to Spencer. Spencer looking uh, to pass to Jelly. Very nice disc movement right here. A little bit of clumpage with Jelly and Spencer in the same uh, geo there, but nice passing there to D-Foot. D-Foot to Spencer. Oh, what a save by Usual Sayo. Definitely a great save there by Sayo and cleared out, but it is still stuck in that trap area. Invictus getting a tap on it first. It bounces loose, but Spencer is able to pick it up. Looking for that pass down to Jelly. Jelly looking for that shot. A great pass to D-Foot and D-Foot slams it in for two. D-Foot putting it in near the foot of that goalie there. Beautiful pass by Jelly, as you said. And um, yeah, Invictus is looking really nice. Their, their passes are looking really nice right now, kid. Definitely, they have definitely upped their game since the last time I have seen them play. And it is interesting to see R1 now with that disc going to pass it across there to Newton Horse. Some beautiful passing plays here. Newton getting covered by two people there, getting stunned by Cabbage Wrecker. Cabbage Re Wrecker picks up the disc, looking for that clear, but it bounces loose. Jelly able to recover it, looking for options here and going to pass it down the field. Perhaps a clear, and it does fall back into the hands of Talos. 
Thicket looks to make a pass, but it bounced off, bounced off the lip of that mid area. Spencer is going to get it and uh, going to immediately be under pressure. Passes over to D-Foot. D-Foot can't quite hang on to it, so it looks like it will be usual Seo to hop out of the goal and take it and uh, reset there. Oh, no. Uh, could be an opportunity here. That pass can't quite connect. Uh, it is tapped back, and Invictus is back in control. Definitely interesting here. Some nice passing plays there from Invictus. A absolute control here and going in for another two-pointer. Really nice finish there uh, by Spencer with the assist by, uh, I'll say, Cabbage Wrecker. Uh, maybe Cabbage uh, Wrecker. Um, but, yeah, uh, kind of a nice look on the reset there from Talos, but the teammates couldn't handle it. Looks like their stack was kind of thinking about a clear and boost strategy. So, um, yeah, it just takes some time to work those kind of things out. Uh, that'll bounce off the popcorn, though, and immediately Talos is going to have to scramble for it again. It is loose again in that midfield. It looks like Cabbage Wrecker is going to get there first. Going to pass it downfield. Potential long shot there. Spencer is going to look to get there first. Looking for that backboard, but Newton with the steal. Great steal. Um, yeah, but Jelly on the back line. Uh, looking to it. Cabbage Wrecker hanging out. Oh, can't quite get that pass to go. So it'll bounce toward the mid. It looks like it'll be Jelly to get to it first. But uh, Newton Horse clears it through and it looks like D Foot hauling it in. Deepfoot with a great intercept there, but another great steal there from R1. R1 looking for that long shot. It is not going to quite able make. Uh, it isn't quite able to make it. Spencer picking it up now, looking for a pass out, but it does bounce off some geometry. He is able to rescoop it up though and clear it downfield. The stacks are together for Invictus. They're going to uh, get up there. It looks like oh, some really nice leeching there by Snicket. Wow, what a move! Definitely a great move there and a great pass there to Cabbage. Cabbage now with that disc looking for the pass up to Spencer. Spencer just not able to get a hand on it. Jelly with the recovery though. Covered by two players but still able to get the pass off. A great, no, another great there. Save there by Seo. Seo is really keeping Talos in the game right now. Jelly though with the recovery. Spencer hanging out on the, on the nest. No one, uh, yeah, R1 just kind of let it happen. And... Um, yeah, uh, probably want to be a little bit closer to that uh, that offensive player there. Uh, Spencer crawling underneath the nest there and sending it in, though only getting the two. It is Talos now with that joust advantage. It looks like they are going for that clear down the tunnel, and I don't know what is happening, but my controller is misbehaving, so I apologize for the sideline cam for a minute while I try and figure it out. Yeah, but we're still here with you. That disc is uh, pass it is bounced down by Jelly. Uh, Jelly moving off some Geo is going to avoid Newton Horse on defense. Clears it through, and it will be into the mid, so Newton Horse will eventually track it down and look to reset here for Talos. It is loose once again in the Talos bubble. Usual say are able to pick it up now and able to pass it off to Spencer. And Spencer with the intercept. Spencer going for that long shot. It is just going to bounce wide. I think I fixed the issue here now with that controller. Cabbage now with that disc looking for that pass to Jelly. Jelly now looking for a pass back, but it doesn't quite connect. Jelly able to pick it up, though, and look for that pass off. D-foot bouncing over, uh, looks to, oh, beautiful look for Spencer, but a little bit too low. Spencer will track it down, though. D-foot is hanging out on the nest. Cabbage Wrecker is on the boot. Jelly is moving low, so really nice movement and spacing right now. Cabbage Wrecker avoiding, oh, Jelly coming up from below like a shark and sending it in. They're up by eight. Looks like we are going to get a pause here. I'm not sure which team did press the pause button, but maybe... Talos with some technical issues. Maybe Invictus with some technical issues. Yeah, it looks like uh, Snicket has some pretty bad ping right now. Um, I'm seeing 999. Oh, yes. It looks like Snicket indeed has dropped from the game. So a little bit of technical issues there. Um, uh, hopefully that player can get their headset reset, uh, internet reset, whatever they need to do, and get back into the game. They will have up to uh, four and a half more minutes left um, before they would need to look for a sub. Yeah, definitely an interesting game here. 
and it'll be exciting to see how both teams respond. Maybe this pause will be good for Talos. Maybe they can get that player back in and able to pull off some points here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is, um, it's, uh, I've had this happen to my team a couple of times uh, in the last uh, few games uh, where people have had uh, technical timeouts and there's been extend extended pauses. And um, it definitely is something, it's an adjustment you have to make and, and you have to stay warm and you have to keep moving around, but, but not be too, uh, too crazy with, uh, with how much you move around so that you're not, you're not tiring yourself out. It's really, really hard to stay in, uh, in tip top game kind of performance um, chemistry um, when there are timeouts like this. It definitely is hard to deal with timeouts because they do interrupt momentum and some teams actually do well with a break and others struggle with it. It is definitely an interesting one and it looks like, oh no, maybe, perhaps, an extra player coming in here but not maybe an Invictus player perhaps I believe it is an Invictus player and Snicket is back in now I have pinged the teams to tell any extra players to leave because they cannot be in the game so good uh, good that Snicket is back in and with a, with a ping of 60 uh, these servers are looking pretty strong right now OCE servers are a bit funny so um, we generally have the Sydney servers, and that's about it. I believe there may be Melbourne servers now, perhaps. we Ping is funky in OCE. If we have anything under 100 ping, we're fine. I mean, that's kind of how I feel uh, as well. Uh, under 100 is okay with me. Um, under 80 is, is good, but... Um... I'm okay with under uh, under a hundred. We uh, we've got players on the east coast and the west coast uh, uh, on my team, so it's kind of hard to get a server that um, that makes everybody happy. Especially, yeah, we don't have anyone on a central server, um, so uh, sometimes we have to play on either a west coast or an east coast server. And America is not quite as big as Australia, but it is it is broad as well. It definitely makes things interesting and when you get games against the Japanese teams we have to play on Sydney servers because we get like 300 ping on Japanese servers which is unfortunate but it is a side effect of having such a large spreading region. Yeah it's um it's unfortunate that players from various regions uh you know NA, OCE, EU and even as you say even within OCE um you know the uh, Japan uh, and Australia. I mean, it's just it's 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 unfortunate that that we can't have a little bit better ping situation. But that is the nature of information transfer. Uh, there are limits to the the hardware that we have. So uh, these players are staying warm. Ca uh, Cabbage Wrecker and um, not sure who that is, uh, but yeah, a couple a couple players doing a little bit of regrabbing. But it looks like they have unpaused. And uh, in just a few seconds, that countdown will restart. It is going to be interesting to see how Talos respond here after getting that extra player back. And we should have an exciting game here and an exciting rest of round one. Usual Sayo passes over to Snicket. Snicket uh, trying to dump it down, but it'll bounce off a couple of Geo and D Foot will clear it back. It's going to bounce into, oh no, uh, bouncing through mid, and uh, it looks like Newton Horse is going to fling it through. Jelly on the back line catches it and sends it through. It looks like it is loose once again. A great pickup there by Newton, but all four players of Invictus being there, ready to pick it up. And Talos is going to intercept it once again now. They are all down the other side, and Invictus are going to try and get their stacks back here. And a missed pickup there by R1, and R1 now passing it down to Newton, but another missed pass there. Talos feeling a bit of pressure here. Spencer picking up that disc now and clearing it downfield, but a great intercept there from Usual Sayo. 
Usual Sayo, uh, really nice lurk move, um, attempting to pass to Snicket. Snicket's under pressure by Cabbage Wrecker, but uh, will uh, make a nice little juke there. Lose a hold of it for a minute. What a pass. Going to take a long shot. Wow, pretty bold uh, with the goalie in, in there, but uh, it's just wide right. It bounces off the rim, and now the stacks are together, and the race is there. But on the back line, it is Usual Sayo clearing it through. Metallics. It is going to bounce back towards the Talos half of the field. Cabbage Wrecker now with the disc, passing up to Jelly. It is going to go wide, though, and Snicket is going to pick it up off a bounce. Looking for a clear, perhaps, and another green intercept there by Spencer. It is really back and forward in the midfield here. Yeah, both teams may be uh, maybe a little bit cold from that uh, timeout, but Invictus moving well right now. Beautiful pass to Jelly. Wow. Great, great cut. Great pass. Great finish. Definitely a great finish there. Invictus definitely have their passes down pat, and Talos are just struggling with theirs a little bit. Yeah, a couple of missed opportunities for Talos. Uh, I feel like they're playing well, but yeah, a little bit of inconsistency. Like uh, right there, Spencer going to pick it up. Uh, they will dodge the bullet for a minute, but Jelly on the backside, hauling it in, sending it in for two. Invictus is going to take this round, uh, currently up by 12 little bit out of the reach of uh of talos right now but with a minute left they just need to uh see if they can get some momentum get a score in and and go into round two definitely um invictus are coming into this game off some pretty hard losses a couple game a couple weeks ago actually and they are definitely coming back strong and fighting talos also coming off some losses but definitely again coming back in strong Dumping it in low. There's got a chance. Oh, just a little bit low. Uh, that I thought that had an, a, a chance, and it was just a little bit low. But now the stacks are together. It looks like Invictus is going to fly first, but that stack from Talos is coming in. Newton Horse with a little bit of pressure. Wow, what a pass. Oh, but can't quite finish. It's Cabbage Wrecker, and Snicket will get a handle on it and clear it back. It is now loose. Who is going to get there first? It will be Talos. Talos going to clear it down the field, looking for pass options. Usual say we're going to follow it up real quick. Maybe their first points on the board here, and they will end round one with some points on the board. That's big time. Um, it definitely makes you feel a lot better when you see that you can score, uh, even if it's, uh, you know, totally... Uh, uh, not going to help them win this first round they can definitely feel good going into the into the break and uh and yeah maybe just have a few little smiles on as they figure out how they're going to adjust to go into round two they definitely are going to have to adjust how they are going into round two it definitely was a great play here by both teams and the stats didn't clear from last game Lovely. I will fix that real quick. I think I forgot to press a button. That's all right. I've got the stats uh, on my computer here. So it looks like uh, Jelly had the game high with six points, two assists, one save, 13 stuns. Spencer also helping big time with four points, three assists, and two saves, and 20 stuns. And um, it was D Foot bringing in the last two points and a save. For Invictus, for Talos, Usual Seo had two points and four saves. So doing a lot of work uh, on the backside there. Really, really nice uh, defense um, and goalie play by Usual Sayo. Uh, is it Sayo or Sayo? Do you know, Kit? Sayo. Usual Sayo. So Usual Sayo doing very well on the defensive side. And it looks like uh, some players are bouncing around. Um, yeah, it looks like Jelly has bounced over to the uh, Talos side maybe to have a little bit of conversation, but um, not strictly legal to have five uh, of your players in the match at one time. And uh, But just like that, the teams are out, and they are going as Invictus getting their head on it again. It'll bounce around, and uh, Spencer will try to get to it. He's moving the quickest right now. It looks like he will haul it in. D-Foot coming in, he's going to be on the shoulder, and uh, Guacanole on the on the left ghost there is going to get stunned out. Spencer walking it up, D-Foot doesn't have a passing opportunity. Finally, Guacanole <laughs> comes out of, out of a deep freeze after that stun, just in time to get the pass and the finish. Definitely a great play there by Invictus. Talos going to need to respond hard here. 
No doubt, yeah. They, they scored their, their big two points to finish that round. Um, oh, wow. That stack is coming hard from Invictus, so R1 is going to be under pressure. We'll pass it over to Newton Horse. Newton Horse is going to pass it through. Oh, just out of the reach of the teammate there, and it's D-Foot's going to get it, but can't quite clear it. It'll bounce off the shield, so another opportunity for Talos here, but um, that clear is good, and the stacks are together for Invictus. I don't know if this is going to end, end well for Talos, and no, it does not. Guacanole with another two points. And unfortunately, the controller glitch is back, so I apologize for that. I missed that shot because my controller does not want to connect nicely. There we go. It's fixed again. I don't know what is up with that glitch. It keeps coming back. The great... Well, yeah, great clear uh, for Talos there. Uh, that pass, not good enough, though. Bouncing around the ceiling. Guacanole. We've said that name a few times. Going to clear it through. And uh, the stacks are together for both teams. Let's see which stack is going to be faster. It looks like Snicket will get a hand on it. And that's good for Talos. Definitely R1 now with that disc. Perhaps a long shot. Oh, no. It's just stinging off there. Cabbage going to pick it back up. Clear it down that field. That would have been huge for Talos. And now on the other side, uh, clearing it through, but bouncing off the Geo. So Cabbage Wrecker going to have an opportunity. Going to take a shot, maybe. Uh, but at least a, a decent clear. Guacanole is going to be in the area, but snick it with a stun. Sayo now with that disc, looking for that pass off, getting stunned out. But Guacanole taking out both players there and going to go for that long shot. It does, does just, just bounce wide. Cabbage Wrecker with the disc now, getting stunned out. Spencer with the disc, but also getting stunned out. And Snicket is going to pick it up and clear it. Great clear. Talos has their stacks together first, uh, but they're a little bit um, past it. Newton Horse will get a hand on it, but then gets stunned out themselves spencer is going to pass it through beautiful pass d foot going to take a shot it's going to be just a little bit low and it looks like snicket is going to be in the area first snicket is going to pick up that disc first and he is looking for that pass back not able to connect but a bounce is picked up by sayo sayo now with that disc with the pass off but a great intercept there by cabbage wrecker cabbage wrecker looking for the bounce off the roof but it doesn't quite connect yeah, I think just uh, hit the little uh, end of that ramp there. Going to take another shot. Uh, bounces off the ceiling. Beautiful pass to Spencer in the end, but usual Sayo will clear it. D-foot on the back line. Gets the, st gets the steal. Uh, looking to pass a Guacanole. Guacanole under pressure. Snick it with the save again, but that clear is not good. D-foot with the disc again. Beautiful pass to Cabbage Wrecker. Cabbage Wrecker flying in. Third time's a charm. They're up by six. Definitely a good shot there, and Snicket actually, I think, got a hand on it, but it did go back into goal because the disc was orange. Yep, in, in America, we call that a Chicago. In Australia, maybe a Perth? Yeah, I, I think we, we either say WA or Perth. <laughs> Spencer passing it up. Uh, Guacanole is in the area. Not going to get it, though. Uh, Cabbage Wrecker can't get it either. He's going to have a second chance. That tap is going to be a little bit low. So uh, maybe um, some communication miscues from Invictus right now. Cabbage Wrecker with a beautiful self-pass off the floor, uh, trying to pass up to the to the teammate there. It is going to be in the hands of Guacanole. They're not under any pressure. Uh, right now, all of the, the players for Talos are hanging out in the bubble, electing to to pass in. D-Foot is low, uh, and Guacanole will just take it right in with a 17. Definitely is an interesting game here, and it is an exciting one to watch. Even if Talos are behind, they still are putting up one heck of a fight. Snick it with the disc now, passes it through. They're going to do a little bit of a dribbling. Uh, they only get a couple of pulls through there. It might be good enough. No, Spencer dives. The stack is together for Talos. So Guacanole and i um, not quite sure who that is. Uh, there are three players now. Snick it, going to get a hand on it. Guacanole with the pressure and the clear. Spencer with the intercept, doing a bit of a spin. Maybe looking for a duck, but getting stunned out. Great read there by Newton Horse to get that stun off. R1 with the disc now, looking for that clear downfield. It is going to bounce into the Invictus bubble. It is going to bounce awfully close to that goal. And it looks like Invictus are going to get back there first. Hauls it through on the left side. It will bounce through, and, and now it's low on the um, Talos side. 
It looks like Guacanol might get to it first. Yes, uh, does get, no, doesn't get stunned out. Loses the disc, though. Uh, has to do a little bit of shaking and uh, will pass up to Snicket. Uh, who's not on his team, so not a great pass to, to make there. Um, but Deepfoot is going to haul it in, and he will pass it over to Guacanol via the bounce pass. Guacanol has a teammate. Oh, Alex for the shot. It's a little high. Cabbage Wrecker with the, with the rebound, and R1 is going to clear it through. Deepfoot picking that disc up now. Going to tap it back in the hands of Guacanol. Guacanol now with that disc. Looking for that pass off to Deepfoot. Deepfoot coming in for the shot. Great shot there by D foot. Yeah, nice finish. Uh, that's what you want to do. Pass the disc, jump off the nest, jump, dive toward the goal, and um, keep keep moving that disc up and down uh, as the goalie reacts and find a hole. And that's exactly what Invictus did. They're up by ten right now, and Talos is uh, definitely under a little bit of pressure, and that's not going to help. Spencer with the with the steal. Spencer, no. Wow, just a little bit wide right, but Spencer gets it again, and that one's still good for three. Great recover recovery there by Spencer. Yeah, great way to s just keep in it. You know, uh, you, you miss the first shot. That doesn't mean you can't uh, go in, get your own rebound. Uh, yes, get a stun, get a steal, get do something. Uh, just always staying active. Oh, and staying active is Guacanole. What a steal and puts it in for three. Definitely a fast stack there. Talos going to need to come out quicker on the Joust now. And let's see how if Invictus can pull that off again. Let's see if Talos are able to respond to it. Definitely a fast stack, but getting stunned out is one of the players. A great intercept there by Cabbage Wrecker. Cabbage Wrecker going to bounce it off the roof down to Guacanol. Guacanol is just going to tap it in for two. Beautiful, beautiful tap in. Just nice read on the disc. Nice, um, yeah, just nice read on the on the moment to be in the right place there uh, by Guacanole. Um, just had a big, big bowl of guacamole, and uh, now I'm thinking maybe it should have been a little bit bigger. Stuff is good. Oh, guacamole. Round two over. Match over. <laughs> what a way to close it out. Definitely, what a way to close it out. A great play there by Invictus. Beautiful play by Invictus. Invictus dominating from start to finish. Um, uh, just a really, really beautiful um, performance by, by Invictus. They, their passes were on, their shots uh, were not on fire, but they did hit some good shots. But um, you know, when they missed it, they were just, they, they kept at it. They, they got the rebound, they got the pass, they made, made the easy shots, uh, in the bubble. And, um, yeah, Talos also putting up a good fight, but, uh, just today, uh, Invictus just a little bit better. 100%. And we do have the stats here after all, cause I fixed it. I, I, I did forget to press the certain button. Very nice. Never too late. Never too late, Kit. Never too late. Never too late. And uh, indeed, Guacanole coming in, I believe, uh, after... Uh, was that... Guacanole was only in round two, I believe. Uh, yes. And scored 14 points. Um, so really, really dominating performance there. On the other hand, um, yeah, usual Seo, uh, only, only the two points uh, still and, and only the four saves. So Invictus really dominating, as, um, especially in round two. Definitely. And this isn't the last OCE game of tonight. We do have two more coming up at 7 p.m. AEST. So in half an hour, um, we have Pineapples vs. Cadmon, which is a bronze level game, but it should be a good one to watch. Super exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm so stoked that you're out there uh, helping out the OCE uh, community by showing them the, the Echo Arena fun. It was uh, super fun to to do this one with you kit and uh, it's about 1 30 for me so this will probably be my last cast but i'm glad that you and luke are going to be holding it down and um, i know luke's getting up early for these matches so you guys are dedicated definitely um i think my earliest slash latest cast of the morning was 4 a.m which was a bit ridiculous but i wanted to cast an eu game were you still up or newly up? 
I woke up specifically for that game. Wow. That is dedication. You heard it here first, folks. You got Kick Catastrophe waking up at 4 a.m. for you to bring you some bring you some joy. So, um, anything else you want to say, Kit, before we close this one down? I do not. Um, it's been a good evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time of day it is. Have a good one. Season 3 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Rebuff Reality, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net. <laughs>